get Bryan student support at this year's Bryan versus Providence College game, Bryant University has organized a fan bus to Providence to see if the Bulldogs can get some support and a much needed win on the season. For that, we'll take it to Frank Lavera for more. The Bulldogs men's basketball team will travel to the Dunkin' Donuts Center on Saturday, December 10th to play in-state rival Providence College. Bryant will not only send the team, but a fan bus full of students to root the Bulldogs onto victory over the Friars. After a long West Coast road trip to open the season, the Bulldogs men's basketball team will return to the East Coast for a stretch of games against regional opponents. Bryant will hope to jumpstart their season after a difficult road trip against the Providence Friars, who play in arguably the best conference in college basketball, the Big East. To help the Bulldogs defeat PC, a fan bus will be sent to the Dunkin' Donuts Center. You get free transportation. You get... You get a chance to go to the Dunkin' Donuts Center, which is a great place to watch a basketball game. And you get to watch the Bryant University Bulldogs most likely defeat the PC Friars because PC is not that good. Just going to the game, just cheer us. I think we have a pretty good chance to win this game. So fun. Bryant students can take the fan bus to Providence to support the team. The fan bus package will include a ticket to the game, transportation to and from the campus, a t-shirt, and a bag lunch. The bus will leave campus at 10.30 a.m. from the Chase Athletic Center and return after the game. The bus has limited seating, so be sure to visit bryantbulldogs.com slash fanbus to purchase your tickets before they are sold out. Imagine the headline on December the 11th is Bryant Beats Providence College. The fan bus will be a crucial part in supporting the Bulldogs to a victorious afternoon over the Providence Friars. Be sure to purchase your ticket for the fan bus and see the Bryant Bulldogs play at the Dunkin' Donuts Center on Saturday, December 10th at noon. Reporting for Bryant Sports Center, I'm Frank Lavera. And now we'll kick it off to Alex Carver, who's here with sophomore guard Corey Maynard. Hi, Bryant Sports fans. I'm Alex Carver. With me tonight, uh, sophomore guard Corey Maynard. How are you doing tonight? No bad, thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks. Um, so, just to get started, why don't you tell us a little bit about growing up in Australia? Uh, you know, growing up in Australia is just like, you know, Regular, regular lifestyle, similar yep. to over here. I uh, grew up in a small town in, in uh, Victoria called Melbourne, and then uh, moved to Adelaide when I was 16. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty easy going lifestyle. Yeah. So now, has basketball always been your sport? Because now, well, most people here think of Australia, we don't even think of basketball. So why, why aren't you playing rugby or something like that? Yeah, well, basketball, basketball wasn't really known in the American scene uh, until Andrew Bogut. Uh, came over mm -hmm. in 2004. Uh, until then, you know, I was always a big Australian rules football fan and I always played that and my dad played professionally back home. So it was not till I'm about my sophomore year of high school where I started taking basketball a lot more serious. Mm -hmm. Cool. So now let's talk about some of your achievements outside of Bryant basketball. Um, the Australian national team under 20 and the World University Games. What's been your experience with that? You know, playing over in China over the summer for six weeks uh, with a great group of guys, it was, it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Uh, you know, we went over to Shenzhen for the uni games and, you know, just being, being able to compete at such a high level and around athletes, you know, there was 8,000 people staying in the village. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was just like a mini Olympic Games. Uh, so it was an amazing experience and I, I learned so much from it and, you know, hopefully can carry it through to this season. Yeah, sure. So now while you're there, did you get to tour around China while you were playing the games? Yeah, we, we checked out a lot of China. We, we stayed near Hong Kong, mm -hmm. um, you know, just checking out the culture there. And it's extremely different, but, you know, it was a, it was a great life experience. And, you know, we got to m mix with the locals and go shopping and all that regular stuff, touristy stuff. So, you know, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking earlier before the show, and you were telling me a little about some of the talent you were facing, some of the other teams. You got to see a lot of, a lot of good teams out there, too. Yeah, a, the U.S. team was uh, pretty stacked. They mm -hmm. had a lot of high major Division One players, and, you know, they didn't end up winning it, which, which shows the level of competition. Like, we, we faced the Serbians, and, you know, they were incredibly, you know, well-drilled and executed well, played tough, and, you know, they were, they were by far the best team there and one of the best teams I've ever played against. It was, it was a whole different level of competition. Mm. So now with traveling around, you know, between Bryant, between all these other games, um, do you find that you're missing your family a lot or do you enjoy all this traveling around? Yeah, uh, yeah, 
hey, you miss them, you miss them pretty much a lot of the time. So, you know, you find yourself thinking about it and you try try not to, but, you know, just like anything, get homesick and it, it, it's it's tough not being able to go back and, you know, say hi to them or whatever every day, but you get used to it. But mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, and you, you were telling me earlier your family came up last year, which must have been pretty pretty. Yeah, great. that that was that was awesome. They came over uh, January last year, and you know I was I was having some troubles adjusting in my freshman year, and you know after they came, it kind of took off from there, and I really enjoyed having them here. Okay, so now kind of speaking of that, how did you end up coming to Bryant uh, all the way over here? Uh, well, you know my best friend Claver McMath is a is a junior on the team, and you know he came here and he was really enjoying it his freshman year. And I knew it was a dream of mine to come over here. And we'd played together since we were 16. So, you know, when he told me how much he enjoyed the team and the lifestyle at Bryant and the coaching staff, you know, I took a visit at the end of my junior year and, you know, I fell in love with the place too. So basically it was all clay that got me here and, you know, I'm glad I made the right decision. Yeah, so you've been enjoying it here since? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's a great lifestyle here. I enjoy it. The weather gets a bit rough at times, but <laughs> yeah. apart from that, you know, I really enjoy it. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this season, kind of a rough start, kind of some hard schedules early on. Um, How do you see the team uh, reacting to the the start going forward? You know, we're the 16th youngest team in Division Mm 1. So, you know, there's a ton of teams in D1 and it was a rough start. And, and, you know, we're a young team, so we're doing a lot of learning and improving at the moment. But it's it's a great group of guys and we're, we're enjoying learning together and improving. We can feel ourselves improving each day. Um, so, you know, while the wins might not be on the board, uh, we could easily be, you know, four and two as opposed to one and five. So we play an incredibly tough schedule for such a young team and we're learning a lot. So hopefully, you know, these are the building blocks for our future. Sure. Yeah, there's been a lot of big names uh, on the schedule so far. San Diego State, Notre Dame. And uh, coming up next month, you got Providence. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you know a lot of the fans are gonna, from Brian are going to be going out there. So is the team going to be looking to make a statement out there? Yeah, well, you know, we competed really well with uh, San Diego State. We're in a position to win it, but we just, you know, ran out of legs by the end of it. And, you know, Notre Dame was the same thing. Um, so Providence, you know, I hope we can get a lot of, a lot of people out there from Bryant. Uh, you know, there's a fan bus going out there. So mm-hmm. hopefully, hopefully a few people jump on that and come out there and, you know, support the guys because, you know, we could really use it. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck out there. Thanks for tuning Thank in. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is Alex Carr with Corey Maynard. Back to you. Thanks, Alex. And now, let's jump to the best of the week. My favorite part of the show. Number five. Here we go. Women's basketball. Deep three-point shot for Brown. Great shot there. Oh, here we go. Star of the Central Connecticut game. And the bomb for 42 yards. Gotta love that. Number three, Corey Maynard down the baseline on his back. There you go. Let's watch that again here from the Australian menace. Pure determination. He really wanted that. Yes, he did. Here's Brian again tearing the house down from three. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Can't be stopped. And your first play of the week, Alex Francis. Little shimmy right there. Post moves down the middle. And one there on the dunk. He was phenomenal. It's going to see another baseline dunk right there. Alex Francis, we're all excited to see that. That's our number one best of the week. I'll have what he's having. (laughs) Great highlights there on the best of the week. We hope you enjoyed it. And check us out, Channel 68 on the Bryant Network. Or if you can't wait, go on Facebook and Twitter. We're on there too. Check us out. I can't wait. I'm going on Twitter right after. I'm on Facebook 24-7. Hope you enjoy Brian Sports Center. Listen in next week. I'm Andy. Brandon DeFreitas here. Stay classy.